Okay, in this experiment, we've got hydrogen peroxide and some detergent in each of the boiling tubes. And then we have got three bits of potato that have been in contact with three different concentrations of copper sulfate, which is a known competitive inhibitor. And then the fourth one is the control. So what we're going to do is we're going to add the potato tissue to each of the four test tubes. And then we're going to start the stop clock and then we're going to measure the height of froth. Now remember, we're getting froth because if hydrogen peroxide is broken down, it produces oxygen gas, which gets stuck in the detergent bubbles, and therefore we get froth. It's what we call an indirect measure of catalase activity. We're not measuring the catalase activity directly, but the more active the catalase is, the more froth is produced. So let's try and pop them all in at once and then start the timer, and then we'll see if we get any froth being produced. So you can see already that the control is starting to produce froth. The 0.1 molar copper sulfate, so the least concentrated non-competitive inhibitor, has got a little bit of oxygen gas being given off and slightly less, as you would have expected, in the increased concentration, so 0.5 molar and 1 molar. So we'll just leave it running for another minute or so, I think, and then we'll have a look at the froth. Remember that's a, a measure of how much the en enzyme is able to work. Okay, another 20 seconds and that will give us a minute and a half and we'll be able to compare the reaction rate. And all I'm going to do is look at each of the boiling tubes in turn and measure the height of the froth. So a minute and a half, our 0 0.1 molar copper sulfate has produced about 4 millimetres. So I'm just going to pop that there. 0 0.5 molar has also produced about four millimeters and one molar should really have that in short so you can see it has produced about three and our control remember our potato catalase with no inhibitor present at all has produced the most and that's measuring in at six millimeters.